The image on this month's Chronogram magazine is a painting that I did late last year called November Conversation. It's a, a lonely kind of a piece looking into the possibility of a conversation that's to be or a conversation that just ended. I'm largely a realist. I work almost entirely from the world around me, from things that I see. I try not to use photography just because it's a, it's a better experience for me to be out in front of things to really try to grab a three-dimensional space and put it on a two-dimensional board. Plein air painting is the act of going to a spot in a landscape and painting that spot at that time of the day. My feeling is that that allows you to respect the landscape even more so than you might pouring over a photograph or a series of photographs. I have done most of my plein air painting probably within 20 miles of this room. It's really so beautiful around here, it's hard not to find something to paint. You spend most of your time driving around in awe, and almost anything you look at could become a painting. But it all plays into my concept of enjoying what's around you, not looking to be half a hemisphere away. There's so much that we miss that's very close, very important, very intimate, that we don't pay attention to in our society because we are Facebooking, because we are all over the world so easily. Now, one of the great challenges of plein air painting is being out in the space, understanding and relating to the time of day, light and color around you. You paint very quickly. Uh, you really try to get uh, a section of that day in there. People really do incredible cloud painting from photographs, but I try to get a great idea of what that cloud is at that moment. It's not a portrait. It's impossible to do a portrait of, of a cloud. They're moving constantly. By the time you've chosen the colors, those clouds are gone. The other half of what I do is still life uh, or interiors, things that require more time and you don't have the constraints of time of day and wind and light and things like that. You can control all of that in the studio so you can work overnight, you can work during the day if you want to. But the trade-off there being that you become very obsessed with arrangement, light position and shadow shapes. My titles tend to be sort of loose, open interpretations. They're not particularly concise because I would like the viewer in the future to be able to draw his own conclusions from the image itself. Future generations could call the painting anything they want because its meaning will change with time, but if it's a good image, it should hold up.